All right, so what do you think the themes of the album cover, The Miseducation of Lauryn Hill, are? I'd say the theme of this cover is I didn't become Lauryn Hill. It's about her, it's Lauryn Hill. You know, it's like basically tell her about her, like, who she is as a person and she's trying to find herself. What else do you think? Do uh, so you agree with that? Yes, I also think it's very emotionally powerful. It's because emotion plays a significant role in the album covers and like the cover is the best for pencil, so I'm like, it could be like how she grew up or how things come along. And I chose empowerment because this could be how, how she got her strength, like where she came from. Good, did you all have anything else you wanted to add? Eric earlier? I was looking at identity because I felt like it kind of represented her personality. Wonderful. All right, you're up. You ready to facilitate? Come on. All right, y'all. Now, the mind's going to walk you through your next step. She's basically being misunderstood, or people don't understand her. So she's, I guess you could say she's trying to educate other people about her. Um, I said the title itself, Portrait, represents the theme of the pencil being on the desk that helps the listener understand the theme and personality of the album. Great. So, like, what are those uh, conventions that you pulled out? What is the pencil? What would we call that? I said prompts. Was probably the prop for the theme because it says miseducation, and I'm guessing she's educating people on her self arc and her identity. Okay, good. All right, so so we're looking at the props, and you're specifically looking at the text. Yeah. Okay, so right, so in your evidence piece, instead of pulling out props, you're looking at text. So make sure you write that specifically in the in your box. You two are pull, pulling out the pencil, which would be is a what? It's a prop, right? But I'm also, I'm also dealing with uh, Lauren Hill herself because as you, as the mis, the miseducation of Lauren Hill, and then we have her face plaster right here. Like, I would say the miseducation part ties to the identity of her and mis, educating, the miseducation going on about her. Okay. Yeah. So then, hyper focus. Are you gonna, are you focusing on the facial expression here? Or are you focusing on the subject? Or are you focusing on the text? I'm, I'm trying to bring. Two together, like right? so, both the yeah. text yeah. and the face. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I was trying to do the same thing, except I used the paste for it to tie together with self identity and her miseducation. You mean? All right, great. Okay, Demaya, okay. go for it. Um, what so this is the name, the name of identity of Zendrak Cox. What is evidence to support this? Alright, so the, the pencil you said? Yeah, she said the desk and the pencil. What would we call those things, the desk and the pencil? Props, good. Yeah, props. 
All right, and yeah, as uh, Maurice said earlier, the theme of identity is represented by the props. So we've got a debatable claim there. We've got the props that we've pulled out. And so then, is there any other props that you think uh, support the theme of identity? Um, I said So the pen, so you're both ever focusing on the pencil and the self-portrait. Yeah. Okay. Which represents the of the education part of the Great. So we got the desk, the pencil, and the self-portrait, right? Remember, we're not doing the explanation just yet. We're going to do that explanation in the analysis section. Are there any other props that you want to call out here that you think can help support the theme of identity? We've got desk, pencil, and self-portrait. I thought that's a really good start. Um, we're going to now use the remaining time. You're going to get four minutes on the clock again. Two minutes to explain in your table groups how those props support that theme. And then we'll share out and see where we're at. Okay? So this is the analysis piece. Remember, you're trying to explain now how the evidence supports the observation. That's your task here. And this is really what we want to take to the explanation. Do we have any questions on the task? Thumbs up, we know what we're doing. Yes, good. Okay, two minutes on the clock. Let's get to it. Talk to each other. You're doing what? Oh, what did you think the evidence for was? I said the evidence is that her salary was gained, and it appears that she's staring off the river and she's about her sex. Okay, so you're focusing on the gaze and not the props? Is that what your group was doing, the gaze? Okay. So then, your task then is to explain how the gaze uh, supports the observation, right? Are right, we good? Okay, so make sure you make that switch, and then now you're in your analysis piece trying to explain that. We good? All right. How are we doing over here? You're writing? Yeah, writing. Okay, let's talk through it first before we write. So what did you have to say? I was using text. Text instead of props? Yeah, okay. Well, I was going to say the text is the sex says the men's education of Lauren Hill has basically shown like her journey. She said she's speaking her journey through her album. Okay. That's good. Any of the rest the rest of you agree with all that? Or you use the text? I was gonna say I was, I was gonna use props. Uh, you got props, you got what? Kind of so. Well, let's focus on one. But like the props help support the text. Which one do you think is the strongest? Props or the text? Because that's the sort of the problem. The text. The text? Mm -hmm. You go, both go with the text? So all three of you go with the text? What do you think? I went with the text because it's a stronger word. Because it's a stronger what? I could With the text? Okay, great. So make sure we bring that out when we talk about the text and the props. Okay? okay. All right. Uh, all right, Tamayo. Okay, so the last question is, explain how this evidence supports the thing that the thing of identity is about props. Go ahead, Mark. So I basically said that, like, the fact that her face is located on the desk, you see the person above, like, those objects in the message of, like, school, education, or learning, so, like, that fact that her face is located there, it's like she's saying, I want to educate myself to you. Like, she wants to educate everybody else about her. All right, good. Uh, sorry, Don. Don, you and then Jay. Yeah. So, I want both in the house. Don, and then Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Do we see how we need to do this? Are we ready to do this independently? Yeah. All right, because that's the next task. So, if you flip your sheet of paper over, you'll see the Beyonce album cover Lemonade. And your task now is to do the same thing with that. Can I get a quick thumbs up around the room that we know we're doing? Sideways thumb if you need some support from me, and a down thumb if you definitely need some individual support. Okay. 